What up big gauchos, it's your boy Big Gaucho Tyler. Back at again with another video. I'm here with my lovely girlfriend Dulce. Hi everyone. And uh, we're here today getting ready to do the Beyond Meat Challenge that we did in one of our first videos. So I'm gonna have her guess which one is the real one and which one is the uh, Beyond Meat and see if they still live up to their hype. How do you feel? Let's check it out. I don't know, I'm nervous because I'm Mexican and I eat real food. <laughs> oh wow, so you're, so you're hating on uh, processed foods? Prosthetic. <laughs> I mean, I like Burger King, but I prefer Mexican. Ah, see. <laughs> Alright guys, you know the drill. Gotta blindfold her and then I'm gonna pick one and now uh, and she's gonna have to decide which one is which. So I wanna pick one without her knowing. So this is the first one we're gonna start with. Uh. <laughs> and uh we'll put it on the plate and uh, she will try it. So what do you think you're gonna do? You're gonna get it or you think you're not gonna get it? Um I think I'm gonna get it. Easy? Yeah. Alright, let's do it. Put your hands on it. Alrighty. Don't look at my nails though. Cause <laughs> okay. Take a bite. Hold on, I need to smell it. I think it's the normal one. Are you sure? I think so. Alright, take a bite. Aww. <laughs> I see you watched the last video we did. Mm-hmm. What are your thoughts? Is it tasting kind of fake? Mm. I don't know. I'm gonna have two. Fast forward. <laughs> I mean, really slow. Alright, fast forward. <laughs> All right, we got a verdict. Uh, I don't know. I need to taste the other one. You gotta give me something. Um, it tastes dry. This is a little dry. Okay. Mm-hmm. Does it taste like a burger? Uh, it does. So is it the real one or is it the I don't know. One? I need to taste the other one. You gotta give me something. <laughs> I, but I can change it at the end, right? Sure. Okay. Kind of tastes like the real one. Okay, we got a, a verdict. So she thinks it's the real one. All right, I'm gonna go switch it up and see uh, if she can get the second one. Let's okay. go. All right, guys. So here's the second one. Whopper number two. Whopper. Yep. All right, go for it. Wait, I feel two. The one that's closest to you. This one? Yep. Like a real burger? <laughs> it's all the same. It's all the same, okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay. Here goes nothing, huh? Yep. Mm. <laughs> How's that one taste? Does it taste uh, prosthetic or processed? Mm hmm. Like every fast food restaurant? No. It tastes different. It does? Mm hmm. How different? I don't know. Hmm. Hold on. I can, I can even smell it inside my mouth. It's so different. Or is it just me? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you're psyching yourself out. <laughs> Not the normal one. What's it called? The impossible? The impossible one? Mm-hmm. Alright, is that your final answer? Yes. <laughs> That's right. my final answer. Alright, now take your blindfolds off and uh, we'll like, tell you which one was which. Mm-hmm. So your first one right here, mm -hmm. you said was the regular one. Yes. And the one on the right right here, you said was the impossible burger. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the verdict is, you were correct. Yes. You got him. You got it. <laughs> got you got it. it. All right. So tell me. Talk to me. What were your thoughts on the Impossible Burger? Okay. Don't zoom it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so the Whopper, I've eaten 
eaten, eaten, eaten. Just kidding. Mm -hmm. I've made a lot of whoppers before. So like, I, like you, they smell the same. But the taste, it's different. Is it I like, don't know, it tastes like, you know like the soy? Uh-huh. Soybean that they use, sort of like that. Okay. I don't like that. So like, does it taste like a burger at all or is it just completely off? It does, it does, but there's like a taste. I like guess aftertaste, yeah? Like an aftertaste. Mm -hmm. yep. Well, if you guys don't know about that aftertaste, watch the first video. Uh, right hand corner. Um, but the texture is the same. Really? Mm -hmm. Texture is the same. Like I was feeling it with my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Delete that part. Okay. <laughs> um, texture is the same. It's just that taste. Okay. Like, you can automatically feel it, smell it as it's in your mouth. Okay, so on a scale of 1 to 10, what would you rate the Beyond Meat Burger? Take another bite. Not the... No, I'm fine. You're good, you're good, you're good. <laughs> I'm good. Um, so the Whopper, the normal one, I gave it an 8. Okay, what about the Beyond Meat? Probably a 6. A 6? A not, 6. Not bad, not bad. Yeah. But like, if I gave it to you saying it was a burger, would you believe it? Yeah. Yeah. I would. So, mission accomplished, Beyond Meat. Mission accomplished. Yep. No, it's not that good. They smell the same. Tyler eats anything, so... It tastes like a burger. There's nothing... It tastes like a burger. Trust me. My mom buys a lot of two for six, please. <laughs> All my life, I've eaten the two for six Whoppers. That is an amazing job. Tyler's in love. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense to me. Like, mm. how does it taste like a burger if it's not a burger? I know. I can't even tell the difference now. No. No. All right, guys. So Dulce got it. I kind of doubted her. I thought it was gonna be the same exact same thing. Um, some fast facts with some fast talks is uh, Beyond Meat. Uh, they are headquarters in California. Um, they are recently signed a deal to get into Walmart and Costco. I believe I saw an article on that. Uh, and they're just slowly. Uh, <laughs> Uh, they're slowly expanding and becoming more uh, available to the general public. Uh, their stock is trading at around, uh, I believe, $155, if I'm correct. Hold on, let me double check that. He knows the facts. Uh, high, high, high 150s, I believe. Yep, $157. Um, personally, I think they're a buy. I personally don't own any of Beyond Meat yet, but the way that they're going and the way they're just uh, revolutionizing the, the meat industry with Obviously, they're Beyond Meat Burger. I personally think they could go somewhere with that and uh, definitely make a lot of money in the future. Um, well, with that being said, I'd love to thank my lovely girlfriend for uh, joining me in this uh, Beyond Meat experience. Um, catch us next time. And uh, with that being said, I'm Big Gaucho Tyler, and uh, this is Lady Gaucho Dulce, and we'll catch you next time. <laughs>